Today, members of the Old Guard placed American flags at more than 228,000 graves at Arlington National Cemetery for Memorial Day. A retired Navy SEAL who says his thoughts are always with fallen comrades was awarded the Medal of Honor today. David Martin tells us about his heroic actions in the 2002 Battle of Roberts Ridge, one of the most savage and controversial of the Afghan war. Navy SEAL Britt Slabinski led his team onto a ridgeline from which he could call in airstrikes on al-Qaeda fighters in the valley below. But the enemy had already occupied the ridge and opened fire on Slabinski's helicopter. The aircraft was moving very violently and hydraulic fluid all over the floor from the, those big bullets the size of your finger were passing through the aircraft. One of his team, Neil Roberts, slipped and fell out of the helicopter as it veered off to make a crash landing. Slabinski commandeered a second helicopter and went back to get Roberts. So you make the decision to go back in even though you know the enemy's going to be waiting for you. I knew that Neil didn't really have any other options that we had to go get him. This video from a predator overhead shows Slabinski and his men coming off the helicopter to rescue Roberts. What they didn't know is he was already dead. Next to Slabinski was Air Force Sergeant John Chapman. A machine gun opened fire. John went down right away and I could feel the bullets passing through my clothes. Slabinski tried to silence the machine gun, but the incoming fire was overwhelming. My guys are basically just being torn apart up here. He ordered his team to back off the ridge, but first he checked on Chapman. I go over to where John was and uh, crawl right over the top of John and looking for some sign of life from John. I didn't get any, any sign from him. But later analysis of the video indicated Chapman might have been still alive, raising the awful possibility he had been left behind. Slabinski remained certain he saw no sign of life in Chapman, but it is a decision that will stay with him for the rest of his life. Not a day goes by that I don't think of it. Not a day. The battle raged for 17 hours and five more Americans lost their lives before it was over. Brit Slabinski now wears the Medal of Honor for his actions that day, but that is not all he carries with him. The magnitude of what we lost there is what I want people to focus on, because that, that's what I carry with me every day. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon. That is the CBS Evening News tonight. The news also continues now in our 24-hour streaming service, CBSN. I'm Jeff Glor. Good night. See you later.